Welcome to Maths is Easy. Hello friends, as there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels, I'm here for the same. Today in this video, I'm going to solve chapter integers, class 7, exercise 1.3, question number 2 to Question number four of Publication House Goel Brothers. If you guys want to see the solutions of earlier exercise, you can go by the playlist where all the solutions are available. Moreover, if you guys want to see the solutions of same Publication House that is Goel Brothers of class eight chapters like rational numbers, exponents, square and square roots, cube and cube roots, Algebraic expressions, linear equations, factorization of algebraic ex expressions, percentage and its applications, probability, quadrilaterals. You can go by the playlist where all the links, all the videos, all the solutions are available. So let's not, not to waste further time. Check it out how to solve question number 2, 3 and 4 of exercise 1.3. So if you guys want uh, me to uh, start the social science of class nine, like French Revolution, constitutional design, and uh, India size and location, do comment for starting the same. I'll surely be trying to start social science discussions question discussions as well so question number two says without actual multiplication find the following products use a property so in here we have to use the property so first part is minus 842 into 102 so if nothing was nothing have been mentioned would have been mentioned so uh, we uh, what would we have done we have uh, uh, we would have done just simple multiplication but we have been asked to uh, use the property so we have to split this term so 102 can be written as 100 plus 2 So we will use distributive property here. Which property? Distributive in all the parts. Distributive property here. So minus 842 into 100. It will get multiplied first this and then this. Plus minus 842 into so in here, minus 842 double zero minus a minus 842 into two would be equal to minus 1684. So here minus minus plus minus 84,200 and minus 1684 would be equal to 85,884. This is our answer of first part of question number two. I have a full glance. Now come to the second part. So in second part, we have been given minus 61 into 105. So minus 61, 105 can be written as 100 plus 5. So minus 61 into 100 and minus 61 into 5 so that would be equal to minus 61 and 61 into 5 would be equal to 305 now we will do the addition so it would be equal to minus 6405 this is our answer of second part let's move to the third part that is 48 into 98 
so here we would split this 98 so it would be equal to 48 into 100 minus 2 so 48 into 100 and 48 into 2 so that would be equal to 4800 minus 48 into 2 would be equal to 96 so 4800 minus 96 would be equal to 4704 this is our answer of third part question number two have a full glance of second and third options now come to the fourth part of question number two so fourth says 525 into 99 so we would split 99 or we can write 99 as 100 minus 9 uh, 100 100 minus 1 now 525 into 100 would be equal to 52500 minus 525 ones are 525. So that would be equal to 51,975. This is our answer of fifth part. Have a full glance of fifth part. Now come to the sixth part. So sixth part says... This was the fourth part. Now come to the fifth part. So fifth part says 24 into 103. Now 24 into 100 plus 3. So that would be equal to 24 into 100, 2400 plus 24 into 3 would be equal to 72. So it would be equal to 2400 plus 72, 2472. Hope the question is clear. Now come to the sixth part, which is the last part of question number 2, 86 into 97. So 86 into 97 would be equal to what? 100 minus 3. So that would be equal to 8600. 86 into 100. 8600 minus 86 into 3 would be equal to 258. So 8600 minus 258 would be equal to 8342. This is our answer of sixth part of question number 2. Have a full glance of question number 2. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth part. Now come to the question number three. So question number three says, determine the integer whose product with minus one is minus 25. So here, we have been asked by which integer we have multiplied minus 1 so that we would have this minus 25. Means with which integer we have multiplied minus 1 so that we would have this minus 25. So, of course, 25. So, we would have multiplied 25 with minus 1. So, answer is minus 25. So, here 25 is the answer. In second part, same case, by which integer we have been 
uh, we would have multiplied 52 so that we would uh, we have this 52 so minus 52 minus 1 52 this is our answer minus 52 third part with uh, what integer we have multiplied minus 1 so we have got minus 108 so of course 108 is the answer fourth part by which integer we would have multiplied minus 1 so so as to get 0 so answer is 0 so all the num integers numbers in boxes are the answer of question number 3 first part 25 second minus 52 third 108 and fourth 0 hope the question is clear if any type of doubt is there feel free by commenting into the comment box now come to the fourth question which is the last question of exercise 1.3 so question number four is which of the following statements are true and which are false so first statement says the product of a positive and a negative integer is negative so yes true what is written here the product of positive and negative integer product means multiplication of positive and neg negative integer is what negative so this is true second statement says the product of two negative integer is a negative integer this is false if two negative integers are multiplied so it will get cancelled and answer will be positive integer so in here this is false as negative integer is written here third part the product of three negative integers is a negative integers true product of three negative integers so two negative would get uh, will will uh, would get cancelled and coming out as positive and one is left so true negative integer fourth part every integer when multiplied with minus one gives its multiplicative inverse yes if integer is getting multiplied with minus one it will give its multiplicative inverse true fifth part multiplication on integers is commutative yes multiplication of integers are commutative how if we write minus 2 into 9 that would be equal to 9 into minus 2 answers would be same in both the lhs and rhs so this statement is true six uh, six statements and multiplication on integers is associative yes this is true also so associative means this 8 into minus 4 into minus 2 equal to 8 into minus 4 into minus 2 so they all be equal 8 it would be equal to 4 to the 8 and it would be equal to 32 and minus 2 so answer of it would be 64 positive and answer of it would be positive 64 so hope all the question that is question number two three and four are clear if any type of doubt is there feel free by commenting into the comment box so that's all about the quest, uh, exercise 1.3 so in my next video i'll be solving exercise 1.4 so if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you kindly subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible thank you so much